Des séries. Il fait quelle température dans le jardin Il fait 9,1 degrés Celsius dans le jardin. Hello friends, today I'm going to speak about this EVE weather station, which is HomeKit enabled. Welcome to this new video. So with my tropical garden, I have to monitor the temperatures quite closely, especially in winter time, in order to know when and how to protect my palm trees. Therefore, I use this TFA weather station, which can hold up until eight sensors. It works really well. I have a special video on this weather station, but the downside that this weather station isn't connected. So I always have to connect it by USB to my computer in order to read the graphs. I found this little EVE weather station, which is battery operated, and you can see the graphs directly on your iPhone. You can always ask Siri the temperature. You can follow the temperature even when you're not at home and you can create automations. So I can set up an automation where my heating for the palm trees is activated automatically beneath a certain temperature. So I found this EVE weather station on Amazon for about 80 euros. So I have the HomeKit code, a little leaflet, and there is the Evera station itself. So really small. So I can attach it with a little screw. So this little weather station is battery operated. The battery should hold up for about one year and it's a CR2450 battery. You should install it in the shade to not influence the temperature measurings and it is splash resistant IP3. So both compared, you see 27 and 20.7 degrees, so the measuring is accurate. Humidity 59, 56, which is also within the same range. So now I'm going to install this little weather station outside, but before doing so, I'm going to connect it with my home kit. A little word on how thread works. With thread, your light bulbs make a connection directly to the home pod. So when I give a voice command, it goes directly to my light bulb without connecting by Wi-Fi throughout the bridge. So it goes directly to the light bulb itself. So thread is much quicker, uses less battery for battery operated items. And another great thing is they create like a mesh network. So if I have several light bulbs, or other thread enabled devices. Not only they connect with the HomePod, but they also interconnect. And the advantage of this solution is whenever one connection fails to work, well, it still works throughout the other connections and it self reestablish afterward. So go to my HomeKit, add a new accessory, Add or scan the code. It sees that it's a sensor, so it is located in the garden. I think the name is good like this. Here you can change the name for the temperature sensor and for the humidity sensor, and it is added. So when I go to my garden, I should be able to see the temperature, and there it is. 21, humidity 56, and here I can see the battery level. I can add optimizations, and I could also check it within the EVE app. 
and I have my Eve weather. So it uses the iPhone settings and the measurements to know at what sea level you are. And there it is. So you should always install a weather station at head height. So between 150 and 200 centimeters. So here under my pergola, it is quite discreet. It won't be in full sun. It's far away from my house not be influenced by the heat that's coming up from the house itself now let's set up some automations so here we go to so rules new rule so the trigger will be my temperature let's set it on so, the temperature range of the Eve weather is so now let's set it here so if it is the same or lower than two and a half degrees and then I go to next I can set an extra condition but I won't do so So I created a new scene to activate the power in the garden and I will have to give it a name now. So winter protection and there I have it. So protection hivernal. So let's see what it does. It's active right now when the temperature is at two and a half degrees or lower the scenario is that it will activate the power in the garden now make a new one there you go and i will again check for the temperature and if it is higher or the same as zero degrees I will cut off the power no condition I will make a new scene Here I have my two new created scenes, so one to activate my winter protection when the temperature descends at minus 2.5 degrees or lower and it will power on my winter protection and I created a second one when the temperature rises to zero degrees or higher to turn off the power of the winter protection. So within this app I can see all my devices. And here I can see my garden, I have my UV cam. The power in the garden is turned off, my lights are turned off and my weather is at 9.1 degrees Celsius right now. When I click on it, I have some graph. When you click on the I button, you can compare. So here I have hour, day, week and month. Of course, I only just installed it right now. So you can compare data with data from last week or last hour, for instance. I can see how many measurements it did take and I can also remove those. So I will only activate those from outside right now to have the correct measurements. And I'll do the same for the tenancy.
So this Eve weather is really a nice small weather station to make your weather connected and visible in your home kit. So really like this. If you liked as well, don't forget to share this video, leave a comment and like, and I see you in the very next video. Bye bye.